Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today I thought we would try Maybelline's newest mascara, The Falsies Surreal. Your new lash reality awaits. So I am very curious. I haven't seen any reviews. So this will just be first impressions, immediate thoughts of this product. So if you guys are curious to see how this mascara performs, how it wears throughout the day, and my thoughts, then just keep watching. This is what the box looks like. Inside it shows you the mascara tube and the mascara wand. They sent me one of these like unicorn skin bags, which are really fun. And the mascara, which they sent me in very black, looks like this. And about this mascara, let's see. This new mascara formula will extend your lash reality up to 36% more length and up to 10 times the volume. Its innovative hybrid fiber technology is formulated with a mix of fibers of different sizes up to three millimeters. The unique extended helix brush features long twisted bristles to catch and extend each and every lash for surreal impact. Resists flaking, clumps, and smearing with a 24 hour salon hold. I'm not sure what that means. Available in very black, black is black, and brownish black, and waterproof coming this summer. Exclusively at Target as of March 2023, which is a couple days before I'm filming this, and at mass market retailers nationwide in June for $12.99. All right, so I really enjoyed their Colossal and their Colossal Bounce and the Push Up Mascara. I've loved a lot of Maybelline's mascaras. I'm trying to be selective about how many I keep on my everyday table just because I feel like they dry out faster than I can use them. So I only have, I would say, about 10 mascaras here that I'm actively using and trying. But I really want to try this one. So it's the round packaging, just like the Colossal Bounce one, which was white and yellow. I kind of like the lavender packaging. It's pretty. All right. So it showed you a picture of the wand before it was coated. And it does look like it's spiral around this way, but they're pretty tightly packed bristles. All right, here we go. First eye. First impression. Really nice. Hmm. I don't see little tiny hairy fibers like some fiber mascaras. They're very small and subtle. Can you guys see my lashes? That's three coats, but fiber mascara, the fibers build on the wet formula. So let's see how far we can take this. All right, I feel like anything more than four and this might become clumpy and spidery, but that looks really nice. You can kind of see on the edges, it's getting a little clumpy on certain lashes. So I feel like I might need to pick off some of the clumps with like a lash separator. Okay, do I think it gave me extra volume? It definitely did. I have a ton of lashes right now. Did it give me length? I would say it did on a few lashes, not all of them. Like you can kind of see the fibers on the edges of some of the lashes, which is fine. That's what it's supposed to do. But I feel like any more and it might start to look spidery and unrealistic. But so far, this is giving me really nice volume and length. So let's try the lower lash. I'm not sure I need the added length on the bottom, but I'm gonna see how much I can build this up. I think that looks really nice. Wow. I like having longer lower lashes. I think it makes my eyes look wide open. So before and after. This is really good. This is like rivaling some of my favorite mascara combinations. And this is one mascara. Like I love to use my Ilia and my Rare Beauty mascaras together. And then sometimes I'll top it off with my Thrive mascara just to kind of lock everything in. If this does not smudge, to my under eye or upper lid throughout the day, this could easily become my favorite mascara. 
This is impressive. Okay, this looks really, really good. And I do have to say that the formula dries fast enough that you don't have to wait very long for the top to dry before you start doing the lower lashes. I was kind of going back and forth and back and forth and I'm not getting the dots up here that I typically would if I were doing that with a wetter formula. There was a little bit of kind of like flicking to the eyelid, just a little bit right along the lash line on both eyes. That's easy enough to clean up once it has dried. Clean up was a breeze. So do I like this new mascara from Maybelline? 1000%, this is beautiful. Now, time will tell if it smudges, so stay tuned. All right, so it's been a few hours that this mascara has been on and this is what it looks like right now. And I very lightly powdered my under eyes. So they're a bit wetter than they normally are. And this is the result. impressions trying the new the falsies surreal mascara from maybelline if you did enjoy this video remember to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video bye guys